Hello everybody, this is Amel with another coding interview preparation video for you and this time I'm going to show you how to solve this problem, the valid palindrome problem. So giving a string, determine if it is a palindrome, considering only alphanumeric characters and ignoring cases. For the purpose of this problem, we define the empty string as a valid palindrome. So they give you two examples here. In the first example, the function returns true because, as you know, a palindrome is a string that reads the same forwards as it is backwards. So, for instance here, a man applying a canal Panama is the same f as backward. A man applying a canal Panama. Because here, we are ignoring the spaces, the colons, comma, so we are only taking into consideration numbers and letters. So, in this case, the function returns false because this is not the same when you read it forward as when you read it backward. So this is not a palindrome. So how can we solve this problem? One good solution to solve this problem is to use the two-pointer technique. So we can have the left pointer initially at the beginning and the right pointer initially at the end of the string. And every iteration we check that the character at position left matches the character at position right. If they don't match, I know immediately that this is not a palindrome and I can return false. I can return false because I know it's not a palindrome. So, and we also have to take care of uh, any characters that are not numbers and letters. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem. First, we're going to check the reference. If the reference is null, we return false. This is not a palindrome. Then we're going to have initial left points to the beginning and right is going to be at the end. S that length minus 1. While left is less than right, Okay, so while left is less than right, first I want to ignore uh, any character uh, that the left pointer is pointing to, um, or a position left that is not a letter or a number. So I'm going to say if not character that is letter or digit is that char at left then plus plus left so if the character at position left is not a letter or a number skip it ignore that else if so by the same token i also want to check the the right so if the character position right is not a letter or a number i also want to i also want to skip it i also want to ignore that if not character that is letter or digit s that char at right minus minus right okay now I want to check now that I know that those two characters are valid I want to check that they match each other if they don't match I can return early I can return false so else if character dot to lowercase s that char at left is not equal to character dot to lowercase s that char at right then I can say return false because I know that this is not a palindrome else it means that both characters the one a position left and the one a position right are fine they are okay so I can go to the next character so I can increment left and decrement right and if the iteration finishes successfully without returning false that means that the entire string is a palindrome and I can return true So, 
this is a big O N solution where N is the size of the string or the length of the string. So let's test, run the code. True, I'm gonna submit the code. As you can see, this is a fast solution, faster than 95.77% of Java Online submissions for this problem. Um, please like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and happy coding.